got an ongoing tax dispute with, uh, with SARS, and, uh, and that relates primarily to the years 2004 to 2014, and it really involves our international oil procurement activities because uh, we procure uh, oil, as you know, internationally for NATREF, and then uh, we have uh, specific uh, business structures there through which we um, purchase the, the crude, and then we ship it to, uh, to South Africa. Now, we, th this tax legislation process has been ongoing for, uh, for some time uh, now, and uh, ultimately um, it served in front of the tax court, uh, where the tax court, as also per our sense, found in favour of, uh, of, of SARS. Um, we have objected uh, against that, and uh, as of last week, we have uh, received um, confirmation that we can appeal to the Supreme Court, and hopefully within the next 12 months, this case will serve in front of the Supreme Court, which we, uh, you know, uh, we're going to rely on to actually um, rely on the legal process to, um, you know, to, to cater for, for our views. Um, for that reason, we have then uh, specifically raised a provision of 1.2 billion rand, and that has affected our earnings, and that relates to the years 2004 to 2012. Um, in our sense announcement, we also make reference uh, of the 2013-14 years of assessment, uh, we saw us then issued us with an assessment at this stage on varying tax grounds compared to 2004 and, and uh, 2012. We have objected uh, to SARS uh, against these, uh, these findings, and we're still awaiting SARS's feedback in terms of the grounds that we did provide. So, give you a sense that this is very much at the very early stages of the process that we normally follow with SARS. Um, I can say that uh, we really have a very constructive relationship with SARS on, on that, and both parties will rely on all the tax and legal processes to amicably resolve this uh, situation uh, going forward. What's their views? What's our views? I think you know where we are in the process. I think it's best to you know allow the legal process to run. We believe we've got firm grounds to, uh, to stand on, and so has SARS, and uh, and hence that's why the legal process is quite important uh, to judge over these uh, kind of these grounds. So basically, the 11.6 billion is, as I've said, it's it's exactly the the same. Uh, um, case and structure that gets challenged uh, by SARS, but effectively it has different grounds. So uh, effectively SARS then, based on the different grounds, um, assess you just differently um, in terms of uh, your taxable profits from, uh, from this entity. So in this instance, effectively, the revenue used were, were tax, but the, the cost of deducting the crude was actually not allowed. Um, and hence you get this big tax assessment because it's really on the revenue base versus the preceding years that allows you that deduction of crude. That's really the difference between the two.